Eerily quiet in the city that never sleeps. The trains are still running, but no one's at the station. The state of New York now in lockdown. The number of cases in the state now surpassing 7,000.
earliest memory is being strapped in a car seat. Like these, too much time alone the is never a good thing. Past a blur of because trees. then I just start thinking. The leaves I've always hello and goodbye and thinking as they fall back I can't into the distance. Can distance now. That made me I when I came on alone. Never really just just the way from the all your old woods. And on when I look out from my bed the rest of my life, all I see Am I trees. in a messy phase of my I life right now? I used to hate trees. God, I love the felt so boring and stagnant. But I also really hate the things and the maybe use. the trees that for the ones who are moving. More important. And I'm just the piece of temporary really scenery that I'm not going to have to move on their way to do I really exist? somewhere. In those moments, if I look I've always I just felt closely out the window, my memories. I can see just I wish just to be in the bottom of the office I just had a show. My earliest memory is being strapped in a car seat, gazing out the window as we race past a blur of trees, their leaves waving hello and goodbye as they fall back into the distance, and I continue on alone, away from the familiar redwoods and onwards towards the rest of my life. All over the world, some of us did not feel so good. We were getting sick. We were told to self-isolate, that we were in lockdown. Stop, hold, silence. Slowly, we rediscover time and ourselves, what we need to do, what we've wanted to do for a long time, connect with loved ones, pause, think, our world has changed, we withdrew but nature thrived, we like that part, Everyone praises critical work by frontline workers and volunteers. We get to wait in line a bit, observing masks, gloves, no distance between us. But what comes next? A new normal with the new rules. Necessity is the mother of invention. We can do what is right for the planet, and for us all. Some need time to heal. We must protect the vulnerable. With less noise, less pollution, less aggression, less waste. Fairly, kindly, simply, together. together. And you might choose to softly shut down your eyes as you feel the heavier COVID-19 senses. COVID-19 can be characterized as a pandemic. In China, where the coronavirus began, fears that a second wave could be beginning. America's deadliest day yet, 783 deaths in New York alone. This latest surge pushing the U.S. To India, the total positive cases stand at 1,371 with 1,000... Because you know and I know all you have to do together and now is to count in abstract letters or create and hear in those internal numbers of sound. Somewhere 
deeper inside of peaceful handwritten signs. Kiran, is this the same kind of short film we can generally take? No, no, no. It's a frightening time for me. The whole uncertainty surrounding the coronavirus is the hardest thing for me to handle. We don't know how we'd be impacted or how bad things would get. Fear has been a constant thing in my life in the past few days. The only thing that keeps me happy is my daughter. How in this childhood you always have the music and books around you? It's the same thing to me and my daughter. We always sit and listen to songs, we read books, we dance to just keep the time going. There's a lot of misinformation that keeps going around. You just somehow get pulled into this negativity and get into panic. You just fall out of breath, not knowing how this uncertainty is going to end. Continue to breathe slowly, in and out. Gently bring your mind back to your body and breathe every time it drifts, until you feel calm. The entire world I know, everybody is trying to strike themselves. But all I do is have happy thoughts. We don't have much time. supposed to know how to do something I don't know how to do.
Let's what? Toca la clave. Suena el bongo. What? I'm a tumbao que el ritmo lo pongo yo. Vamos a tocar soneros. Toquemos de corazón. Y en este bonito día vamos a hacer un rumbo Y si del alma brota letra, armonía y sazón Son estos los
Maratonista de quarentena Dentro de um dicionário formal, maratonas são corridas de longa duração, que ocupam o um maior destaque no atletismo por conta do seu enorme desgaste físico e mental. Essas corridas costumam ter um cunho dramático, tendo seu percurso atrelado a dificuldades, para que ao ultrapassar a linha de chegada todos se sintam salvos e seguros. Um dia desses, comecei a relacionar minha quarentena a uma maratona com mini maratonas dentro dela. Se é que isso é possível. Após a chegada do coronavírus, eu virei um atleta de primeira. Todo dia uma nova corrida contra o tempo para me manter informado. Produtivo, criativo, sociável, midiático e saudável. E quando os dias ruins chegam, hum, aí precisamos ter o dobro de sabedoria para respeitá-los. E é aqui onde minha corrida contra o tempo fica mais difícil. São as armadilhas para nós, maratonistas. Começamos sendo bombardeados por milhões de notícias, o que despertou um medo enorme em mim de perder essa competição. Depois disso, me desliguei totalmente das mídias sociais. Foi a hora de respirar um pouco. Maratonei, no modo mais literal da palavra, toda a filmografia do Kleber Mendonça Filho. Foi tenso e intenso. Senti saudade dos meus amigos, o que resultou, de uma maneira mais cautelosa, a minha volta às redes sociais. Foi incrível recomendar álcool em gel e colocar fofoca em dia com eles. Numa dessas chamadas, até acabei descobrindo que o Shakespeare compôs Macabé durante o período de quarentena. Imagina só! Ainda bem que eu sempre me lembro de que eu não sou o Shakespeare. Eles dizem que é essencial ter metas, mas comecei a lavar as mãos para isso também. Há dias que são mais difíceis do que outros. Eu fico quietinho e só sinto saudade. É aquela saudade, a do sentimento de ultrapassar a linha de chegada. Vamos parar por aqui hoje, tá bom? Tudo certo, a gente se encontra na próxima semana. E se precisar, você pode me ligar.目前疫情防控需要我们尽量的宅在家里那么长时间的宅在家里有可能就会出现一些情绪烦躁平凡的刷手机作息紊乱等等情况那么到底应该怎么去调整自己的生活呢有五个建议制定一个计划合理的安排
virus COVID-19 count reaches 6.66 million confirmed cases worldwide. Scientists at several publicly traded and private companies are conducting trials for a vaccine. These are uncharted waters. Judge Rhonda Mulkey reporting for duty. New meeting. Join. Meeting ID. Monica, help! What? Can you come help me? Why? I need help with Zoggles. I'm busy. Monica, Amelia, Moki, you get in here right now. Oh, Veronica, you're here too. Good, you can both help me. Fix it. I need to zoggle. Where's the link? The link? The link? The link. Oh, right. The link. I've got that. Use the search function. Here it is. Launch from browser. Don't click that. Oh god, it's updating. Oh god. Don't press that. Oh, she's useless. The Honorable Judge Rhonda Mulkey presiding over a case. Hi, Renee. You look really nice today. Six feet, David. Seriously? Whoa. We're like 20 feet away from each other. That's enough, David. Look, it, if you could just let go of this. Uh, judge? I judge. We, judge, we, we, we can't hear you, Judge. Good morning. The Honorable Judge Rhonda Mulkey presiding. Why are you yelling? Well, they said they can't hear me. You're muted. Can you hear me now? Yeah, yes. Yes, Judge, we, we can hear you Great. loud and clear. The Honorable Judge Rhonda Mulkey presiding over case number 75128, Robinson versus McWilliams. $1,200 and an apology. Judge, before we begin, I know we're in the park because of the quarantine, but I would like to loop my counsel into this. This is small claims court. You cannot have a lawyer. Not in this state anyway. Oh, Renee, I told you I'm really uncomfortable with this, and I'm not even this kind of lawyer. I love you both so much. I just really can't take sides in your breakup. So you're here because David owes Renee money? Um, yes, that's right. David promised me to go have these on Shannon's destination wedding. I would like my $1,200 and an apology. You realize you broke up with me at that wedding, right? What's going on? Oh my God, look what my mom is doing. What? How'd that even happen? <laughs> Your background. What's wrong with it? <laughs> look at the screen. So you used your points for that flight, not actual dollars. Oh dear God. Fix it. We earned those points getting brunch. I miss getting brunch. It still counts. My points are my points. Okay, listen. Here's what I think. Judge? Judge, are you frozen? Oh, for Christ's sake. Girls, it's frozen. Fix this. It's the Wi-Fi, you have to reset it. I can't reset it. I'm holding court. This is a disaster. Your Honor, we can still hear you. The three of us are still here. I really don't know why I'm here. We can't continue. You have to see me so I can give a verdict. You can't see me. Judge, do you think I can still get an apology? Okay, we're taking control. Mom, relax. 
Shannon, congratulations. You should go. Okay, great. Thank you. Um, guys, are we still doing trivia on when? You know what? Never mind. Talk to you later. It's too dark in here. I can't think. I just got an idea. David, you're still in love with Renee, but she's ready to move forward. Keeping this money from her is not going to hold the relationship. You gotta move on. Okay. Renee, can't you see how heartbroken he is? Clearly, he's still in love with you. I mean, you dumped him at a wedding. Try to be kind. It's only 1200 bucks. Chill. Oh, I never thought of it like that. Thanks, judges. Thank you. Thank you very much. Case dismissed. Yes. Case dismissed. Thanks so much, girls. You saved my neck. You guys are my buddies. Whatever. Do you need us to come back for your next Zoggle trial? Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Part of what you do in modeling something like an epidemic is that you're, you're looking to see how the population is changing with time as the disease is spreading. The idea is that we can take our population of uh, people and we're going to have some kind of closed society group of people that we start with. And uh, initially, everyone is going to be in this society. We're going to take a simple model where no one is immune from infectious disease that is going to be introduced. And then what we'll do is introduce an infected person. It could be one. Uh, one of the things in uh, the we could look at is that it doesn't really matter initially if we put one or 10 or 100, uh, the rate of the epidemic, uh, the increase in the epidemic is kind of insensitive to that. So let's say this infectious individual ends up making a contact, which would be close enough to transfer the infection. And then that, that person that, that, that is here, this individual, um, could become infectious. And then what you would have at the next step is two infectious individuals in this population. And then the others, maybe people are moving around a bit. But you've seen an increase in, in I uh, and a decrease in the in in S. And then maybe this infectious person is going to contact another susceptible person and spread the infection. But this infectious person who has had the, the illness for a while is going to recover. We're dividing the population into three groups or three types of individuals or three states essentially for each individual. You start, you can start as susceptible and, and you introduce an infectious individual and people are moving around and they contact each other with a certain rate. 
some number of contacts per day. And then that can spread the infection. But then as time goes on, uh, you can also see individuals recover. So if you double the number of susceptible people, that a fraction here, you would double, uh, double this rate. Or if you double the number of infectious people, it's twice as likely that you contact an infectious person. And then you have to introduce a, a constant here. This is a key constant, k. Uh, k is equal to the number of contacts per day. So if it's like, you, you know, 10 contacts per day, then you would have 10 of these events that could transfer the illness. This is called the SIR model for susceptible, infected, and recovered model. And it's the, the sort of the classic model for modeling infectious uh, disease transfer. And so social distancing is entirely about reducing the reproduction number below one. We can't change K, the recovery period, but we can change the contact number. You have uh, contacts between people that, tr that are transformative. They change the nature of the person. And you have people that are, uh, you know, transitioning through three phases uh, or staying the same uh, the, throughout the epidemic. They're untouched. But others that follow through three phases of change due to you know, their, their particular history of contacting another individual. Barcelona, Madrid, España. No os preocupéis. Somos profesionales. Vamos a acabar con él. ¿Mm? ¿Mm? Os conto después.
Ha, 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 ha.